Today on Televised Carnage, we're gonna talk about how to get better results out of your pictures for very little investment and in getting awesome photos of your models to post on a social media. So I have some tips here that'll be from utilizing almost no money with just stuff you can find lying around the house up to how to invest just a little bit more on some lighting and get some high quality photos of your cars. I see this all the time of people just snapping photos of their vehicles right on their desk as soon as they get done painting them. And really, I think it's a travesty. These cars look amazing and I could tell so much time and energy was put into making them. And I would love to see the best photos of them taken possible. So hopefully through this video, you're gonna learn some tips and techniques to make your cars pop and just look really good and showing everybody the talented work that you've put into your cars. The first example you see here is a picture I snapped of a car right on my desk with just my lamp over the top of it. And I see this all the time. The unfortunate part is this is a very well done car and you just can't see that because the lighting on it is so poor and the background is pretty distracting. So this is what I want to try to convince you to get away from. Let's take some great pictures of your cars. That way you can show them off and show the detailed work that you've put into it. Here for almost no effort, I just took a small piece of regular printer paper and put it on my desk, taped it up to something hard to give it a nice smooth transition surface in the back. Then I've also used a flashlight to add in a little bit of extra lighting. That lighting can be a bit harsh, so if you place a plastic grocery bag over top of it, it'll diffuse the lighting just a little bit. And as you can see here, you can get some pretty amazing results. If you look at the difference between the two, like the first one had no lighting, you couldn't see any of the detail, and now I've got a nice smooth surface that's not distracting, and I've got some good lighting on that car. The next option I'm going to show you here is also super budget friendly. All you're using is some poster board. I bought this one for less than a dollar and you could find the same thing. The difference is, is you're going to have to do it during the daytime and you're going to need to find a place that doesn't have direct sunlight right onto it. So let's hop into this example and show you what kind of results you can get from just a poster board and some natural lighting. In my apartment, I went ahead and set myself up next to this giant sliding glass window. I taped the poster board up just like I did that sheet of paper to give it that nice gradient in the background. And as you can see here, I got some amazing effect out of this. It almost looks professional quality and that's just from using natural lighting. So remember that you don't always have to spend a lot of money to get great results. The last example I'm going to show you here is what you're going to get if you just invest a little bit of extra money here. So I've spent probably about $70 on lighting, one external one that I like to mount to a tripod uh, with a diffuser over the top of it, and then one light I like to mount to the top of my phone rig that I have for taking photos. So again, if you're in a place where you're not getting good lighting all the time or you're trying to take photos at night, this could be a lifesaver. So having lighting coming from more than one angle is what's really going to push this up to the next level and give you those professional looking results. So I have my diffuse light coming from the side and then I have my direct light coming from my camera rig itself. And the results you're going to get are amazing. Look at this. You can see all the details I put into this thing and it looks awesome. Although it really doesn't look too much better than the other two options that we did. So it's all up to you. Well, that's going to be it. I hope I convinced some of you out there to take some quality photos of your work because I get so much inspiration off of you and I would love to see the best quality photos that you could put out there. You could invest almost no money, grab some paper that you have lying around the house with a flashlight and take some great pictures. Go invest a dollar, get yourself some poster board and you know take really upgraded photos there. Or lastly, invest you know a little bit of extra money, getting yourself some good lighting and taking those professional level photos. And again, I did all this with my camera phone. Every single one of you probably has a, a amazing phone just sitting in your pocket. Use that thing. And then if you even push it up further from there and want to buy some kind of nice cameras, your, your results are just going to be amazing. They're going to speak for themselves. You spend hours and hours on these models and they all look so awesome. So take 15 minutes and take a great picture of your piece because we all want to see how much detail and how awesome it looks. Thanks. And talk to you guys again later.